it's Dave. Welcome to another Tech Tools Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about stock photos, videos, and sound or music. Before we get much further though, do me a favor, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel because here's the deal. I'm putting all these videos out on a playlist here on YouTube. If you don't want to miss them, make sure you hit subscribe. And when you hit that little bell, if it's there for you, you'll get an alert every time I post new videos specifically to this playlist. So make sure you like subscribe and hit that little bell. So let's talk about stock photos and images and music and things like that. It's a great way to help create awesome content quickly, right? You could probably type some stuff out. Maybe you're using uh, private label rights stuff. Maybe you're taking content that you already bought the rights to, and now you wanna jazz it up, spruce it up with some images, some sound, whatever. Maybe you wanna add music to your videos. That's what stock videos, stock images, stock sound is all about. Now here's the deal. You can get a lot of things for free, and I'll show you some free options here in this uh, program today, but the quality and selection isn't always that good, and the usage might be limited. So one of the things you need to pay very particular attention to if you're gonna use free things, and if you're gonna do paid things, you need to pay attention to this either way, is what is the license that that image is available for you to use? So is it for free stuff only? Can you use it for business or commercial purposes? Make sure for wherever you're getting the images from or the music or the sounds, you look at whether or not you can use it for personal blogs or commercial purposes, videos, things like that. That is very important because it will come back to bite you later if you don't do it properly. And we'll talk about that in one of the upcoming slides. Okay, so make sure you pay attention. Pay attention to the license. Sometimes it's, there's this thing called Creative Commons and you can use the images, you can use the resources if you say, I got this from Dave Gambrell and here's a link to his site or whatever make sure you understand what those are. It's usually called Creative Commons, and the licenses that you're allowed are different depending on the sites that you get them from, okay? If in doubt about the stuff you're gonna use, either don't use it at all or pay for the license. You're probably a content creator yourself. Don't you want to get rewarded financially for the stuff you create? Well, if you just use people's images and sound without paying them, then you're basically just stealing their content, and that is not a good way to do business. And frankly, it'll probably get you in trouble. So this is a situation where almost always it makes sense to pay the content creator and just get the license to use it. It's sometimes it's like pennies, right? Sometimes it's a few dollars. Sometimes for some really good stock video or music, you might pay 30, 40, 50 bucks to have the license for it, but then you can use it for commercial purposes or whatever the license says you can use it for wherever you want. So one of the things I did for my podcast, and I'll share the, the site that I got it from in a second, I bought the license to the intro music that I have. It was a three minute track. I bought the music to it. It's used in both the intro and the outro. That way, when my podcast gets put out on all the different sites that it's put out on, last I checked, there's like 30 different sites. By the way, if you haven't listened to it, you probably should. It's called Unleash the, Unleash the Awesome then I don't get in trouble for using music I shouldn't be using. And then I can put the video on YouTube if I want or whatever. And I think, I think I paid like $35 for the song that I got and I got the license to it. I actually got a license with it. A lot of times when you pay for it in your receipt, you'll have the license. You wanna make sure you hold on to that. So if in doubt, just pay for it, pay for it. And with some of these sites you can pay for uh, one time so you can get it, you just pay once and you have it. There's other times when you pay on a monthly basis. I'll share that with you in a second. Um, and some of these things like images, whatever, uh, you can get either a subscription or month after month, you just get access to their site and you can get images from it and you get the license when you download it or you can get a pack. So sometimes I buy a pack of like 100 images and I'll show you one of the sites I get that from. And then I just, each time I, I buy an image or I get a limit, uh, an image from their repository, then I can use that. And yes, I check to make sure that I can use it for commercial purposes. So if in doubt, just get the license for it. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, if you use and license content on social media, you often get your hand slapped or you might even get your account banned or locked. I bet you try to share an image or a, uh, some videos on Facebook that had music in the background. And then two seconds later, Facebook says, Hey, you can't use this video or we muted the audio because you're using somebody else's audio. That's because you didn't get the okay or the license to use that that you wanna make sure you do that so that doesn't happen. Because if you do that a few times, Facebook will start to ban you. Uh, it'll give you some other things, it'll slap you on the wrist initially, but then you're gonna get uh, essentially banned. Your account will be banned, you won't be able to publish stuff. YouTube is even worse as it relates to this 
because basically people can put, um, they can they can contest your video that you put out there and then you get strikes. And if you get too many strikes, you're out and you won't be able to publish on YouTube as well. So even out, just pay for this stuff, okay? It's not expensive in most cases. Okay, let's get to it. Here are some of the stock photo sites, okay? First two, Pexels and Unsplash. By the way, wherever you're watching this, I'll make sure you have access to the links. Uh, Pexels and Unsplash are free and deposit photos you might actually pay for. Here's Pexels, pexels.com. Uh, let's say you just wanted to go in here and type um, like and subscribe. Maybe you want to find images on like and subscribe. So look, here's some images that are there. You could just click on it. You'll see it's right here. It says at the bottom, here's free to use. Uh, and then you can just click, click free download and then you'll see it will download it. Okay. Now, in this case, a lot of these people uh, put this stuff on here for free, but they also hope that perhaps you'll give them uh, some thanks, either in the way of donating via PayPal or thanks on Twitter or Instagram. Listen, if, if you're using somebody's stuff, just send them a quick donation, whatever it is, whatever makes sense to you. Give them, give them a thanks on Twitter. Let other people know where they can find these images. Okay, that's Pexels. The other one is called Unsplash, Unsplash. And same deal, you could just search here for photos. They also have videos as well. And um, you'll see, I saw this before, the, the license, right? Read more about the license. And if you click on it, this is what I was talking about before. This one says here, all photos can be downloaded and used for free, commercial and non-commercial purposes. So yes, you can use it for your business. No permission needed, though attribution is appreciated. And then it tells you what you can't do. If you wanna read the whole license, it's there for you in long form but essentially you can use them, right? So check, you can check these two sites. But again, the, the the choices aren't great, right? Like over here, I searched like and subscribe and yeah, okay, I got some thumbs up buttons or whatever, but you'll see over on deposit photos, which is one of the ones that I use and you will pay for these images. Okay, if you go to gamble.com slash deposit photos, you can get access to it. And if I type like and subscribe over here, you'll see what's gonna happen is I will get many more options, actually things that say like and subscribe, all kinds of images, you know, thousand, thank you for a thousand followers, social media, all these things. You'll see over on the left-hand side, I can choose the orientation of the images, I can choose the gender that, of the people that show up in the, the, um, the image. If you want, there's all, like just so many images. Okay, and then you can look at the bottom and it gives you some other recommendations as well. So you'll see this is one of the paid sites, but that's, you get what you pay for, right? The free site gives you some stuff, but if you use deposit photos, you'll see you have so many more options, okay? So stock photo sites, and they have some video stuff as well. Pexels, Unsplash, deposit photos. All right, let's talk about stock uh, audio sites, okay? There's two main ones I'll share with you. You can get some audio for free, but I wouldn't recommend you do that because that is the trickiest one of all. So I'm gonna share two of the ones that I like with you, Pond5, an epidemic sound. There's two main differences between these. They're both paid platforms, but there are two main differences. The one I use most of the time is called Pond5, okay? Gamble.com slash Pond5 will get you there. And if you pay attention to the top, usually they have some kind of deal going on. So if it's your first order and you go through my affiliate link, usually at the top, there's this thing that says get a percentage off or get a deal or whatever. Uh, Pond5 is what I use. Now with Pond5, you can search here. So, um, I'm just gonna search upbeat for the music. Uh, you'll see I'm getting footage here, actual videos and stuff, because that's what I that's what I selected. Okay, footage. But if you say that you want music tracks or sound effects, you could do that as well, and you can search them, and you'll see right here. Here they are, and you can listen to them. I'm not gonna play them now because it won't come uh, across clearly in this presentation. But you'll see over on the right hand side is the cost. Okay, the the thirty nine dollars, fifty nine dollars, twenty nine dollars. Pond5, the way this one works, is you buy it once. You buy the license to it, and then you can pretty much use it forever. That's what I did with my podcast, Unleash the Awesome. I bought one file. I can't even remember what it's called, but I have access to it, and I can use it wherever I want. Okay. So, again, and look over here on the left. You can search the, the tempos, the speed, the mood, the genre, all that stuff. Okay. So that's Pond5. They have footage, music, sound effects, after effects, images, and even some 3D uh, renderings and models and stuff you can check on there. Pretty awesome. And then the other one, and this operates different, is called Epidemic Sound. Gambrel.com slash Epidemic will get you there. Epidemic Sound. The difference here is you 
pay a subscription, a monthly subscription. I wanna say for personal, it's $15 a month. And then you can click on the different things in here and use it. And here's some of the different music. You can click on it, you download it, add it to your cart, all of that jazz. And the cool thing there is when you sign up for an account with Epidemic, they will ask you to provide your YouTube channel and your Facebook and Instagram and some other things. And they will make sure that they go out and say, like they will make contact with those sites on your behalf and say they have the rights to use this music. So you won't get any uh, content strikes or anything like that. Okay. So Epidemic Sound, your two main choices here for audio and sound, Pond5 and Epidemic Sound. Okay. So once you get all that, how do you put it all together? Maybe you don't want to do your own voiceover for your podcast. Maybe you uh, want to have somebody else edit it for that. I recommend you go check out Fiverr. Fiverr. Go to gamble.com slash Fiverr. You'll get access to it. Let's say you type in a uh, podcast intro. You search it. You'll see on Fiverr, there's people you can hire starting at $5. That's why it's called Fiverr. If I had to guess, and this is a guy I actually used right here, Ian Martin, uh, you'll pay probably uh, 30, 40, 50 bucks. I think what I did for his was I paid $75 and I provided him the music. Now, in some cases he'll create, he'll give you the music itself. You have to check right here, but it says background music. What I did, I did the $75 deal. And then when I contacted him, I said, Hey, I already have music. I would just like you to do the voiceover. And I provided the script of what I want him to say for the, the intro and the outro. And he did it. So again, I bought the audio for, let's just make it easy here, 25 bucks, might've been 30, but 25 bucks on Pond5. I found this guy, Ian, who was very good on Fiverr and I paid him 75 bucks. So for a hundred bucks, I got music that I can use whenever I want, a podcast intro and an outro, plus he did some other cool editing stuff with it for me. Okay, so I got the music, I could use it in my podcast intro and outro, he did the voiceover for me, and then I'm safe. I don't need to worry about it. I paid him, that we're good to go there, so I didn't use his voice without a license, if you will, and I have the music license, so it's good to go. So 100 bucks taken care of. If you wanna get your images edited and stuff too for your podcast, you could do the same thing on Fiverr. Okay, Fiverr. And actually, I think Fiverr has two R's. So that's it for today's episode of Tech Tools Tuesday. Hope that helped you. Again, if you haven't already liked and subscribed and hit that little bell on this channel, please go ahead and do that. And if you wanna make sure you get all of these videos and the other stuff that I sent out, cause sometimes I just send these to my list. It doesn't show up here on the YouTube channel. Go to gambrel.com slash TTT for Tech Tools Tuesday. And you'll make sure you get each one of these broadcasts and all the other bonus information that I send out. Have an awesome day. See you.